you know, there are very few areas of business. It's very few fields out there that are not oversaturated. The reality is whenever, you know, someone makes a ton of money in a certain area of business, it's like the gold rush. Everybody runs and they try to stake their claim and try to make millions and millions of dollars for themselves. So you're always gonna be faced with tons of competition. But the thing that sets you apart is you. You know, I'm not at a place in my life where I can personally appreciate fine art. You know, I love it, I guess, as much as the next person, but I'm not one of those people, and I've always been fascinated by people and just frankly blown away by the amount of money that people are willing to spend for fine art because I just don't get it. Like, okay, I, I think it's a beautiful painting, but the reality is, is it worth seven figures, eight figures, nine figures? I don't know, I haven't got to that place yet, but to somebody it is. And me just really sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, what can make a painting? What can make an artist worth so much money? And I guess it boils down to the uniqueness. Each painting is one of one. In and of itself, it's exclusive. There's something about that particular painting that only that particular painting possesses. You know, people who love a certain artist, I'm sure they look at a painting and they can understand the mind frame that this person was in. Was the person in love? You know, were they distressed at the time that they painted this thing? It's something just so unique about each individual painting and you know, they're willing to spend the money for it. And it just leads me to, to thinking about a question that I'm commonly asked by people. People always, you know, I have this great idea and I, did, I really want to go into this business, but I'm not sure because there's so much competition. And my answer's always relatively the same. You know, there are very few areas of business. It's very few fields out there that are not oversaturated. The reality is whenever, you know, someone makes a ton of money in a certain area of business, it's like the gold rush. Everybody runs and they try to stake their claim and try to make millions and millions of dollars for themselves. So you're always gonna be faced with tons of competition. But the thing that sets you apart is you. What is your vision for this business? What is the thing inside of you that is so, and that's the wonderful thing about being, you know, human beings. We're all made unique. We all think somewhat different. There's no two of us that are the same. And if you add that to whatever business endeavor you're going to go into, nine out of 10, you're going to be successful. And, you know, so many of us, and, and this is why I have such a problem with the, the school system, because since we were young, you know, and it's not just the school system, it's, it's everything around us. Everything teaches us to conform and not be ourselves. Everything is pointed towards this is the correct way to do something, and this is the only way that it should be done. Two plus two equals four all the time. And it doesn't necessarily work like that in real life. Yes, in mathematics, two plus two is always gonna equal four. But in real life, there are, so, and that's the wonderful thing about this life, there's so many different ways to get to the finish line. But getting to the finish line is a whole lot easier if you're brave enough and if you have the, 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 the thing inside of you that you're not willing to conform and you're willing to say, you know what, I'm just gonna be me. You know, who would ever think, right, that anyone would wanna get into the burger business, open up a, a, a restaurant that sells hamburgers, that, that specializes in hamburgers. You got your McDonald's out there, Burger King, Wendy's, it's like they're on every corner. But somebody thought to themselves and said, you know what? I can make a better burger. And opens up a Five Guys. Somebody looks at a Five Guys and say, you know what? That's great. But I think we can do it a little bit different and a little bit more unique to us. 
Let's open up a Shake Shack. So forth and so on. They're all winning. There's always room for uniqueness. There's always room for the best. If you're really good at what you do, if, they, if you have a unique skill set about you, there's always room in the marketplace for you. Bet on you. Don't worry about the competition. Yes, collect your data. Understand the marketplace. But that secret sauce, that thing that only you possess, that is the winning lottery ticket. You know, I can think off the top of my head, there are so many great comedians in the world, but there are only a few that change the game. You know, when I was coming up, <clears throat> you know, we can talk about the, the, the early comedians, the Red Foxes and all of those in the world. But when Eddie Murphy stepped on the stage, he changed the game. And from there, there's been tons of great ones. You got your Chris Rock. But, you know, when I look at a Jim Carrey, you know, he stands out in a lane of his own. His comedy, the unique, I'm sure he got a ton of beatings when he was coming up. Probably got kicked out of school, was a class clown. But that same thing that was, I guess, in, in, in some ways, teachers are like, can you please sit in your seat? It made him a multimillionaire. Then people like Kevin Hart comes along and he has his own unique style of comedy and he's killing it. Don't be afraid to be you. You are the secret source. You, that thing in you. I remember, you know, coming up in the, in, 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 in the days of hip hop, right? Everything around hip hop, hip hop was was from the streets and in order for you to survive in the world of hip hop as an artist, it was all about original, like you had to sound original. You could not sound like anybody else. You know, so many artists would be like, yo, stop biting what I'm writing. If you sound like me, I'm gonna roll up on you. It was, it was a culture of you better not be a biter. And here it is. The whole world has changed because now you almost can't get a record deal unless you sound like somebody. But the problem is everybody's not selling. It's the people who are not afraid to be themselves who are the ones who are selling the records. All of the ones that come after them, yeah, they might have a record, but they're here and they're gone. Nobody ever, ever thinks about them. Don't be afraid to be you. Don't be afraid to add that thing that is so unique to you, your personality, your vision, the way you see the world. Incorporate that into your business plan. Incorporate that into your business model and you'll be successful. You know, I think about the, the old way of doing late night talk shows and, and, you know, when I was coming up, you had the Johnny Car Carsons of the world and all of the late shows and the late, late shows and all of the hosts, they looked exactly the same. And I'm so proud of, of, you know, my guys from the Bronx, you know, because now if you turn on Showtime, you see Deces and Murrow, they don't, they, they're just them. They, they started out with a podcast, the Bodega Boys, and really just had their own unique style of comedy and the way that they saw the world. And they go from a local podcast to Vice to now Showtime doing late night. Who would have ever thought? But they were not afraid to just be who they are. They didn't worry about going out and trying to please the masses. They did what they did best and the masses came to them. And that's the message I wanna to relay to you guys. Do what it is that you do best. Don't worry about pleasing the masses. Worry about being the best version of you that you can be, incorporate that into your business, and I promise you, people will find you. Be one of one. Be that exclusive, like DJ Clue used to say, exclusive, be exclusive. Because that is the winning edge. That's your secret sauce. Peace and love, guys. Hope I said something here that gets you to thinking and helps you to get out there and really live your, your truth.
Catch you guys on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.